Should you charge by the minute or should you charge per task? This is a question I see a lot in a lot of forums and I get asked it as well. So you've got a client or maybe someone has found you and they want you to work on a website, a logo, or maybe just make a change or fix something. It's quite easy to say, okay, I'm going to charge by the minute or per the hour. But what if the task only took like five minutes? Maybe it's a long-standing client who you've worked with a lot or a brand new one. If you charge by the hour and it only takes you five or 10 minutes and the client or the person found out, that's not really a good look. But at the same time, if you start to charge by the minute, that also feels a little bit irritable to some people because it's like saying, well, if your task takes five minutes compared to four minutes, the cost is going to be X, Y, Z. And are you solely like properly working on that task? Or have you got Facebook and say YouTube open in other places. So did it really take four or five minutes? I don't think it's a bad idea to charge by the hour if that's what you want to do. If you know the amount of time it's going to take to do the work is going to take that long. Maybe someone says to you, look, I've got 20 images I want to upload and they need to be converted to WebP. There's a bit of cropping, maybe a bit of scaling and stuff like that. I totally get that. But I would prefer to charge by the task. So if I was going to do 20 images, now this is where I feel like I'm going to go a little bit full circle with this. All right, so please understand what I'm saying. And before I tell you more, let's do a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is Kinsta. Are you tired of clunky dashboards? I definitely am. But Kinsta's custom built, my Kinsta dashboard is a breath of fresh air. It's sleek, intuitive and packed with tools that make site management a breeze. Need to upgrade your PHP version? Done. Want to tweak your cache settings? Simple. Want to monitor your performance? Easy. With my Kinsta, you're in control with everything at your fingertips. It's like having a high-tech command center for your WordPress website. Are you ready to take control? Strap in with Kinsta. If I was going to do a task and I was going to make your header more responsive, I would look at your header and I would work out, okay, that's going to take me about, say, 30 minutes. And if I've decided that my cost is $290 per hour, let's just say, okay, and I reckon it's going to take 30 minutes, I will then price up at half of $290. What, I picked a really stupid number to go for, didn't I? So that is $145. I had to quickly think about that in my head. So if it was going to take 10 minutes, I would then say, uh, you know, divide by 60, multiply by 10, whatever. Do your own formula calculation. Maybe create your own Excel spreadsheet. But what you would do is you would think about how much would you normally charge per hour and then the task. And then I would work out the time to do it. But I wouldn't say to the client, I'm going to charge you per minute. Did that make sense? Let me let me explain it again. OK, we have a task and it's going to take me 30 minutes. It could take two hours. It could take a whole day. And based on my hourly rate, that 30 minutes equates to one hundred and forty five dollars. So when I speak to the client, I'm going to give them that price. I'm not going to say it's going to take me 30 minutes because that's what I factored in. And I have been reasonable with it taking 30 minutes. Now, if that task takes longer and it takes one hour, I will still only charge them that. That's on me. I made that decision to go in at that. If I wasn't confident that it's going to take 30 minutes, why did I go in at the 30 minute mark? I should have gone in for the full hour. So if it takes longer, that's on me. I told the client 145. However, if you discover that while doing this, there was something that was not disclosed to you, or there's an underlying issue or the website was built by legacy developers. There was something like some code that the client didn't know and you didn't know. And all of a sudden, when you're trying to build a page or something like that, there's something affecting it. And you thought it was an elemental header builder template, whatever. And you realize it's actually been built with WP Bakery or something else. The 30 minutes that you allocated does not make sense. And it's going to take you may longer than, I don't know, two hours, say. This is where I would go back to the client and I would explain the problem. And that's another thing you do need to make clear. Someone comes to you and says, hey, I want to improve my page speed performance. I want to build a header. I want to drop in images. Don't just say, yeah, I can do that. No problem. I see people do this on forums all the time. OK, someone has a problem and people jump in going, yeah, I can do that. And I'm thinking, but you don't actually know fully what's the theme. What's the what else is on the website? What plugins are on there? How was it built? You know, has there been some lockdown coding in there? So don't assume what you want to do is give a price, but explain to the client that if you discover anything else that of, you know, that causes a problem, you will come back to them. 
And then you have to make the decision over, are you going to take upfront payment or not? I would often say that if you know the client or the client trusts you, or you're a little bit unsure if they're going to do a runner after you fix their website, always get your payment up front as long as you know what you're delivering. But like I said, make clear that if something unforeseen occurs, you know, you may have to go back to them. Of course, there's going to be loads of scenarios and loads of work you do where it will work without fail. Like, can you just change my heading? Can you change my description? Can we swap this image out? Come on, they're pretty simple and easy to do, right? As long as it, you know how it was built and you know what image you're adding in and it wasn't built with another bit of code that you have no control over. But simple things you can price up based on the task, okay? Because I find that when I go to, like, look, for instance, look, when you go and take your car into a garage or something, okay, and you want the tires done, or you want the air conditioning cleaned out or something else, right? They don't say, oh, yeah, that's going to take me six minutes. So I'm now going to say per minute, this is what the charge is, or, you know, whatever. They're going to say the cost is X. But they already will have worked out that the cost of changing your four tires is going to be whatever, right? Now, if they didn't look at your car properly and they just gave you an assumptive value, they might come back to you and go, well, we've discovered another problem. And then that's between you and them. But if they said after looking at your car, yep, we can do all of your four tires and it's going to come to, I don't know, let's just say with the tires and the fitting, $500, okay. And then they try and come back to you and say, actually, we misquoted. It actually needs to be 600. They won't use the word misquote, by the way. No one ever likes to use that word but they will say 600, okay? You could go back to them and say, but you said 500. So I would say that whenever you quote for a task, okay, quote for the task, work out the time, but state it's for the task. Do explain that if something unforeseen occurs, the cost could change. So even when you build a brand new website and you factored in the time and this is your proposal cost for it, if you then find out that actually it wasn't a brand new WordPress installation and the hosting, they told you it's got staging and backups and all that, and it hasn't. And you now have to do a little bit extra. For instance, maybe they didn't even propagate the domain over to the host provider because they'd already purchased it, but they told you they did it and the email's not set up and you're going to do the MX and the RX and the TX records and all of that. And that's on you to now do it because you did say you're going to add in a form. Just go back and go, yeah, we were going to do a contact form. And I did say it would go to your email address, but what I proposed in the quote I gave wasn't for me to set up the email on your Outlook in your phone. So all of these little bit of extras, these are the unforeseen things that we do have to add on. So make sure you make that clear. What was the point of this video? Do you charge by the hour, the minute, or the task? I would always charge for the task because you have factored in the time, but you don't have to say to the client, hey, it's going to take me six minutes, two hours, whatever. You can do. There's no harm in that because you might say, I'm going to start it now, but it won't be done or I won't get back to you for three hours or whatever. But your price for the task. I'm Imran Web Squadron. See you later. Take care. Bye. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win your life. Have no shame, there's no time for the pain. Let the grind, I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit.